Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? This is a special reading that I'm doing here to teach you guys um, how to find out your birth number. Okay, everybody, this is getting into numerology. I don't know if you guys know much about numerology, but I'm going to teach you something really super simple, okay? And after I teach you how to find your, numero your, your number that fits you numerologically, to your birth, I'll show you how to um, to find it in your in your tarot to find out what tarot card is yours, and that's super easy too. Now, when we when we refer to the tarot, it's it, we only use the major arcana, which is only twenty one cards. All right, and you'll understand the further I get. Now, what I've done is I've already you know. Um, pulled out these cards here um, in advance because I've already worked out the problems that I'm going to show you for examples. And then after that, I'll correspond them to the cards and you'll understand how to do that. Okay, so the first uh, example that I want to use is February 26th, 1966. All right, so if you're born in February 26, 1966, this is going to be your birth number, and this is how you find it. Okay, so now, as you know, February here uh, is represented as a number two, because it's the second month of the year. So, um, so this is going to be two. So you go two plus two plus six plus one plus nine plus six plus six all right and the the total of that comes to 50 right there's 50 and 50 is well over 21 remember i said there's only 21 cards in the major arcana so we have to break this down so five plus zero equals five. Five plus zero equals five. That's your number. If you're born February 26, 1966, number five is your number. And the fifth card in the major arcana is the Hierophant. So that would be your birth card. You see what I mean? Let's get a little, let's do a couple more. Okay, let's do February 28th, 1961, okay? February 28th, 1961. So, again, February is two. So we're going to go two plus two plus eight plus one plus nine plus six plus one and the the total to that is 47 and 47 is well over 21 isn't it so four plus seven four plus seven equals 11 right and 11 just so happens to be the justice card yeah, there's the justice card. Now, it's still a double digit. It's a double digit underneath 21. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1 plus 11, right? 1 plus 1 equals 2. And there's the high priestess. So this person here, February 28th, 1961, two, two, two cards. The High Priestess and Justice. All right. Let's do let's do another one just just to so you can maybe understand a little bit more. Let's do um, let's do March third, nineteen fifty seven. All right. So now March is represented by three. So we're going to go three plus three plus one plus nine, plus five, 
plus 7, and that equals 28, all right? 28, that's above 21, right? So 2 plus 8 is 10, and 10 is the Wheel of Fortune. So if you're born on that date, 10, you know, the Wheel of Fortune would be your card. Now it's still a double digit because it's under, you know, and it, it's under, it's under 21, under, under double digit. So one plus zero, one plus zero equals one. The magician is one. And this person has two cards too. You see how that works, you guys? That's how you do it. Well, anyhow, I hope you found this a little bit informative and, uh, let me know um, if you get it. I'll try to explain it to you a little further if you don't, but um, yeah, I'm gonna examine it and I hopefully I did a good job. <laughs> I hope you guys understand that. But yeah, try it out with your birthday. Um, and I, I would suggest using a calculator because it's easy to mess up. And if you mess up just one digit, it can, you know, you won't have it right. So just use, I mean, I know it's simple math, but uh, even simple math kind of throws me off. I, I have to I have to use a calculator <laughs> just to make sure. But anyhow, there you have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys again later on. All right, Pisces. See you later. Bye for now.